Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning the join and break entities. Okay, so I have the shape little shape uh, drawn out for you. And I'm actually going to be going ahead and adding a circle right here of about two inches right here. And I'm going to come over here to um, right next to the trim option. You're going to say there's break two pieces and there's trim many and join entities and all that. I want to go and click on break two pieces. Now this is going to allow us to take one entity and break it into pieces depending on the intersection points of other lines uh, in the drawing, okay? So for example, if I take this line right here and this uh, circle right here, it's going to break this the, these two, if I click on OK, now it just broke my line, if I come over here, this line, if you can see it highlighted in yellow, and then this line now, it's highlighted in yellow, but those are two different uh, lines. This is one line and then this is another line right here. Okay, so if I come over here again and I click on the break two pieces, select my circle and then select another this one right here, that's going to break my circle. So now my circle is broken at this point right here and this point. Right here. So if I select this half, the circle is broken. Okay, and then this and then this this is the other half of the circle. So this left side. Now, if I want to join them two, so now that we have this one broken from here, for example, if, to show you that, if I select this one and click on the delete button, it's going to disappear, telling me that this is actually one entity instead of two entities. Okay, so uh, for us to join those back again, I can go here to the join entities, okay, and I can select this entity and then this entity again and click on the apply button over here or end selection, and it will make them one entity. So if I select them all, and click on delete you can see now they are one entity so now you can see the circle is only um, this is only one section of the circle if I click on delete you'll see it deletes only uh, that part of the circle but if I go over here to join entities again select my half of the circle select my other half and then you'll click on end selection and it will join my part now this is very useful if you're trying to do a chain um, and you don't want it to go completely around the circle. You want it to break off, for example, over here and then come over here and then c come back over here. So it's not machining this part of the circle. That's where the joining and breaking uh, become really useful and we'll definitely be using them uh, later on in this uh, tutorial.